Hey guys, this week in art, we're going to be doing a drawing of an animal. And in this case, it's going to be a drawing of a dog or a pup. Now, I've used my little dog, Oliver, as an example. Oliver is a little Boston Terrier. He's got great big ears. He doesn't actually have green fur. But since we're going to be learning about monochromatic color schemes this week, I thought that I would just on paper use green for his fur and the background. So monochromatic color scheme just means you're it's the use of a single base color with a variety of shades and tones. So my monochromatic color scheme consists of starting with the just the basic shade of green and just adding a variety of different uh, tones. So I've got anywhere from sea green to forest green and so on and so forth. I went through my crayons and picked all the different shades and tones out that I could find. And I did the same thing with my markers. So what you're gonna do this week is basically you're going to do a drawing of a pup or a dog. You can do a drawing of Oliver if you like, but if not, you can choose your own dog or pup or just simply a dog or a pup that you would like to draw. And you are going to get a piece of paper and you're gonna fill in that entire paper with your dog. So you wanna draw it large scale. And once you're finished with that, you wanna add some details in the background, maybe some circles or something, just so that you can show all of your different shades and tones that you have chosen um, of your collar. And once you're finished with that, you're gonna go in and you're gonna color the entire thing. For example, Oliver's fur is normally white and black. So what I've done is use my darker shades of green where his fur is black, and I've used really light shades where that it is it's white. And then I even colored the background in really light green. So I don't want to leave I don't want you to leave any of it white. I want you to color the entire page in. So um, if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you need to uh, pause this at any time. Normally, I think you would be able to pause it. I don't know if you can or not. Um, so you may just have to start it over. But again, if you want to draw Oliver, um, the steps are going to be right here for you. And if you want to draw your own dog, then draw your own. But let's go ahead and get started. Oliver, one more thing. Oliver likes to tilt his head sideways a lot. He looks really cute when he does it. So I'm gonna draw mine with my dog's little head tilted sideways. You don't have to do that on yours though. So what I'm gonna do is go about midway up the paper and I am going to just start with just kind of a simple shape like this. Now this is kind of cartoonish. That's not really exactly the way Oliver's little head looks. That is pretty cute when you get finished with it. And then I'm going to just connect with a little line like this. Right. So the next step, I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw Oliver's big ears. So I'm going to draw a line like this and a line like this. And it looks like his ears are gonna go off the paper, but you know what, that's perfectly fine. Okay, once we've got that part done, we're gonna come in and we're gonna do our nose. Our nose, we're just gonna kinda think of like maybe an upside down triangle except it's not sharp down at the bottom, it's kind of rounded off. Then we're going to do a little line like this. Now Oliver's always got a cute little smile on his face, so I'm going to show that. Okay. 
Once I'm finished with that, Oliver's got some great big Boston Terrier eyes. So I'm going to draw in some great big circles. And then I'm going to do a circle in a circle. Put a little circle right there for a reflection. Reflection of light. Now Oliver has got this little white patch of fur that goes down in between his eyes, which is similar on a lot of, or common on a lot of Boston Terriers. So I'm just going to go in, draw that space. He's also got this little patch, a little spot of black fur right there. Alright. So, next thing we're going to do is draw Oliver's body. Well, wait, first of all, I almost forgot this. Let's do the line here in his ears. All right, now we're going to do um, his leg on the left hand side of his body. We're going to draw one like that. It's kind of curving out just a little bit. Then we're going to go over to this side. This is going to be the line for this leg, the other leg. That leg, the other leg. Now we're going to show a little bit of his back and um, one of his paws in the back by drawing a line, a curvy line, simply like this. And then just kind of curving it over like that. Draw two lines there. Now, next thing we want to do is just maybe draw a little line to show where he's sitting. He's sitting on the ground. And I don't think I've left anything out. If I do, I'll probably see it as I start. I didn't. Go, oh, wait. I did. I left out his little towel. Alright. So. I'm going to go ahead and get started adding some collar, um, and I'm going to speed it up just a little bit as I add the collar, but I hope you guys have fun on this project, and um, remember, just use one collar and a variety of different shades and tones on that. Have fun.